Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about quartiles. Quartiles divides the whole distribution into four equal parts. And as previously mentioned doon sa ating naunang video ng introduction to the measures of position, ang ginagawa ni quartiles is yung whole distribution hinahati niya into four equal parts. So, meron tayong quartile 1 or Q sub 1, quartile 2 or Q sub 2, at quartile 3 or Q sub 3. So, the quartiles divide the distribution into four equal parts. And by the way, si quartile 1, um, ito yung 25% of the population or of the whole distribution. Si quartile 2 naman, 50%. And then, si quartile 3 ay 75% nung ating distribution. How do we look for quartile 1, quartile 2, or quartile 3? So, please remember these um, four simple steps. And ito din yung gagamitin nyo sa deciles and then sa percentiles. So, number 1, arrange the scores from lowest to highest or ascending order. Number 2, you need to find the location or the position of your quartile. So, para hanapin ng quartile 1, quartile 2, or quartile 3, you can use the formula Q sub K is equal to K times N plus 1 over 4. So, yung K, papalitan nyo lang yan ng 1 kung hinahanap nyo si quartile 1, 2 kung hinahanap si quartile 2, at 3 kung hinahanap si quartile 3. Tapos yung N, what is N? It refers to the number of data that you have. Kung ilan lahat ng data or scores na ginagamit nyo or kailangan yung, um, or yung given sa problem. And then, step 3. Okay, you get the first observation and then you add that to the difference of the first observation and the second uh, observation. Then you, time, uh, you multiply that to the decimal point found doon sa ating formula sa number 2. And then number 4 is for you to solve. So dito medyo complicated pero pag pre-nactis nyo na siya, mas madali na yung um, pagsusolve ng quartiles natin. Okay, let's have this example. So quartile or the lower quartile, or first quartile yung inahanap natin dyan. Now, as you can see, yung para mas mapadali yung ating example, the numbers are already arranged in ascending order, or from lowest to highest. Okay, so since hinahanap natin si lower quartile, we are referring to Q sub 1, or the first quartile. So, ang formula natin na gagamitin ay, um, 1 times n plus 1 over 4. So, nandito tayo sa part na to. Okay, paano nakuha yung n na 11? Okay, kasi there are 11 numbers here. From 44 to 64, 11 yan. So, 11 plus 1 will be equal to 12. And then, saka mo siya i-multiply kay 1. 12 times 1 is equal to 12. And then, you divide. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So, dito sinasabi kung pang ilan or nasaan yung position ng ating first quartile or lower quartile. So, since whole number yung binigay, third. So, ibig sabihin, yung pangatlong number is your lower quartile. So, pag binilang mo 44, 45, 47, ang ating lower quartile ay 47. So, the quartile 1 is 47. Okay, let's look at this example. Example number 2, you need to look for the middle quartile. So, ang middle quartile is also known as quartile 2. So, pag hahanapin naman natin si quartile 2, ito yung ating formula. So, you have quartile 2 or Q sub 2 is equal to 2 times n plus 1 over 4. So, saan nakuha yung 11 na nandito? So, yan ay yung n. Kung ilan yung numbers from 44 to 64. Kung ilan lahat yan. Okay, and then, 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. 
And then 12 times 2 is 24. Then 24 divided by 4 is 6. So 6, yung sinasabi dito. What does it mean? Tapos yung, yung 6th position pa na yan ay whole number, buo. So hanapin mo lang yung pang 6 na number. So the 6th number is 57. Ibig sabihin, ang quartile to natin is 57. So, paano naman kaya yung mga situations we're in, yung position na hinahanap natin may decimal na? So, yun yung susunod nating examples. In this example, we are asked to look for the lower quartile. So, naka-arrange na yung numbers in ascending order. Hanapin na natin yung position. So, ang position is quartile 1 is equal to 1 times n plus 1 over 4. So, yung n natin is 9. Kaya, 9 plus 1 yung nakalagay dito sa um, part na to. Okay, so 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 10 times 1 is equal to 10, divide by 4, 2.5. So, ang position daw ng ating lower quartile ay nasa 2.5. So, ibig sabihin, nasa gitna yun ng second at saka ng third. Nasa gitna ng second and third, and that's 18 and 21. Ngayon, paano natin mahahanap yung exact value ng ating lower quartile? So, take note, dapat yung lower quartile nyo hindi bababa ng 18 at hindi din lalagpas ng 21. It should be between 28 and, uh, sorry, 18 and 21. So, how do we look for this? So, you get the second observation. Ang second observation natin or yung second number dyan is si 18. So, 18 plus... The third observation is 21. Ima-minus nyo yun kay 18. So, 21 minus 18 ay 3. Tapos, kunin nyo yung decimal na nandito sa position na to. Sa so, 0.5 yung gagamitin nyo. So, you have 18 plus 21 minus 18 times 0 0.5. So, solve muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 21 minus 18 ay 3. And then, you multiply si 3 at saka si 0 0.5, magiging 1.5 yan. Sa kanyo i-add kay 18. So, the value of the lower quartile is 19.5. Okay, let's go to upper quartile naman in this example. Okay, you have 13, 18, 21, 22, 24, 26, 28, 28, and 30. So, since we're looking for the upper quartile or the third quartile or Q sub 3, so, ang formula na gagamitin natin is Q sub 3 is equal to 3 times n plus 1 over 4. So, since there are 9 numbers, so, yung n natin, papalitan natin ng 9. So, 9 plus 1 ay 10. 10 times 3 ay 30. Divide by 4 ay 7.5. Nandun yung position niya, 7.5. Nasa gitna daw siya ng 7 at 8 number. So, bilangin nyo, ang 7 at 8 number natin ay 28 at saka 28. So, sabi natin kanina, okay, nasa gitna ng 7 at 8 position. So, kunin nyo muna yung 7th observation natin, 28 yon plus i-minus nyo si 28 at si 28. 0 yung makukuha nyo doon. And then, i-times nyo siya sa decimal noong position natin ng 7.5. So, 0.5 lang yung gagamitin nyo. So, 28 plus 28 minus 28 times 0 0.5. So, 28 minus 28 is 0. I-times nyo sa 0 0.5 is 0 pa rin. So, 28 plus 0 is equal to 28. So, this only means that the upper quartile or Q sub 3 is equal to 28. Let's solve for the upper quartile in this given example. Upper quartile ulit refers to your Q sub 3. So, sa Q sub 3, ang ating formula ay Q sub 3 is equal to 3 times n plus 1 over 4. Ngayon, yung n natin, bilangin nyo from 23 to 45, yan ay 12. So, 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 times 3 is um, 39. 39 divided by 4 is 9.75 yung position niya. 
Okay, so ibig sabihin ng 9.75th position, nasa gitna siya ng pang 9 at saka pang 10 na number. And ano yun? 35 at saka 38 daw. So, yung pang 9th natin na number si 35, pang 10th natin si 38. Okay, so solve natin. So, 9th observation, which 35, plus isubtract nyo si 38 at si 35. And then, i-multiply nyo sa decimal na makikita dun sa 9.75. So, 0.75 lang yung kailangan. So, you have 35 plus 38 minus 35 times 0 0.75. So, 38 minus 35 yung nasa loob muna ng parenthesis. That will give us 3. And then, 3 times 0 0.75 ay 2.25. Saka nyo siya i-add kay 35. So, the value of the um, upper quartile or the third quartile is 37.25. Okay. Sa pang example natin, let's look for the middle quartile. So, pag middle quartile, we're referring to quartile 2 or Q sub 2. So, ang formula natin para mahanap yung position is 2 times n plus 1 over 4. So, yung n natin, 12 yan. Kasi from 23 hanggang 45, may 12 na numbers. Okay? So, 12 plus 1 is 13 times 2, 26. 26 divided by 4 is equal to 6.5. So, nasa pang 6th at 7th position, yung middle quartile. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya dapat bumaba sa 31 at hindi siya pwedeng dumagpas ng 32. Okay, nasa pagitan lang siya ni 31 and 32. So, let's look for the exact value. So, yung 6 observation daw, i-add natin sa difference ni 7 at ni 6 observation. And then, you multiply that to the decimal number found doon sa ating um, position, which is 0.5 lang. So, yung 6 observation natin ay 31 plus si 32 minus 31 and then times yung decimal 0 0.5. So, 32 minus 31 is equal to 1. 1 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. Saka nyo siya i-add kay 31. So, the middle quartile is equal to 31.5. Let's go to how do we interpret the results. Now, in statistics, okay, we don't just compute or we don't just solve the numbers. It's important for us to know how to interpret the result. So, yung mga numbers na nakuha natin or values ng quartile 1, quartile 2, at quartile 3, may ibig sabihin yun. So, let's have these examples. Quartile 1 is equal to 19.5. This means that 25% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 19.5 or one fourth down nung data natin na nakuha has a value that is less than or equal to 19.5. Quartile 2 that's equal to 57 means that 50% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 57. So, kalahati daw ng data natin has a value that is less than or equal to 57. Quartile 3 is equal to 37.25 means that 75% of all the data has a value that is less than or equal to 37.25. Sana may natutunan kayo today. Thank you for watching!